we're buying it. We're buying the damn property. Let's go. Okay, so look, you guys know Ray has been cold calling and he's been dialing. He's been doing it for about six months and it takes time. These leads take a long time to turn over and guess what? Somebody actually called him back. He's been working with them for a while. He's finally in town. So we're gonna go be looking at a fixer right here in Daly City, California. And I think it's a really good one. We just gotta figure out how big it is because the tax records, are there's some discrepancy, but that's where we're headed. It's got broken windows. It's got a bunch of junk in there, he said. And the owner said it's dusty as hell. So that's all the right things that we wanna hear when we're looking for fixers. Let's go. End of the line right here. This might be a infestation. Some mouse. Yeah, yeah there's mice in here. Crib. Whoa. When you go to houses like this, you have to be careful not to touch anything because you might get bed bugs. <laughs> This is, there is a leak. Oh, my, before my dad left my mom, he cut the It's got a great layout. It's the downstairs you can expand. It's already got the high clearance. Um, it's gonna come down to price, ultimately, because this is a 350 remodel. So, let's see. What's it looking like? Looks like if everything works out, I think the price is right. I think we're gonna make an offer. We're gonna buy the goddamn property because it's got a lot of room. Uh, let's see what else. The seller's really reasonable. He's willing to do a seller financing, which is freaking awesome for us because we don't have to worry about you know getting a loan and all that other stuff. So that's how we're gonna be doing it. Let me see. Scratch that. So ultimately, we are we are in a recession. Property values are appearing to be going down. So we need to mitigate risk. The way that we're gonna do that is number one, put as little money out as possible. Number two, uh, make sure that we get the seller financing so that you know they're in it just as much as we are. And yeah, I mean, I think there's still room to make money. I mean, if we get it for the right price and put in the work, there's no reason. Well, either, it's just a matter of whether we make a lot or a little. That's all it is. By the end of the day, more deals, baby. More deals. Let's go. I thought he, I thought I was like uh, million. <laughs> nah, he wanted. F oh. That's a six-figure flip. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, let's get it. Oh, and it's the black tab. Let's go, baby. If you guys follow my Instagram, you guys know. There's monsters with the black tab and the one with the silver one. You always go for the one with the black. It has more power. That's a Brian Trent guarantee. All right guys, a lot of you guys have been saying I got a bunch of dudes in my video. So today we got a special treat. This doesn't happen a lot, but we have four beautiful women here and we're gonna introduce them to them right now. Let's go. All right, Jessica Mannerick here with Momentum Realty. Hey guys, my name is Hanalee. I am also a realtor. Hi, I'm Catherine Liu. I serve the Bay Area and the Peninsula. Hi guys, I am Sam, a realtor here serving all of the Bay Area. And to be honest, I'm here to learn, but also here for the drinks. Just kidding. <laughs> You're only gonna make 10 grand. Yeah. It's a million dollar list. We just wrapped up lunch. I wanna ask them, did I live up to the hype? Was I? Was it a fun lunch? Um, Learn to not stay in your comfort zone because scared money don't make money. Yeah. Yeah. What did you learn? We have a lot of the same goals and best. Mm -hmm. Keep making passive income. Work for yourself. Get right. out there, learn from other people, keep networking. Because what you learned today and the relationship you built today, you don't know what it's going to be like 5, 10, 15 years from now. Yeah. Where it could take you, you know. She's going to be a billionaire. She's going to be a billionaire. We're all going to be billionaires. I'll meet you me, at the top. <laughs> that's right. I'm just going to have a bunch of billionaire friends. My jet or yours. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Ray. Let's go. You guys remember that Daily City property? 
the one with the trash so high we couldn't even walk in it. We had to like walk sideways like a crab. We just got the signed contract today. I don't even want to share with you guys the sales price because it's really juicy. Um, granted, there's a lot of unknown, right? So that's why it's juicy. When you're an expert like us, it's a calculated risk. Let's go. Well, we're already out and about. Today's vlog is really about building the relationship that will help you succeed. Not today, maybe tomorrow, but whatever. So we're in Burlingame, California. We just finished lunch in San Mateo. We're gonna go visit our good friend, Jenny Locke and her team, Zen Coast, and say what's up, you know? You never know what kind of deals they're gonna bring across our table. So let's go, guys. Relationship pays bills. Relationships will make you rich. Relationships will make you wealthy. If you're broke or you're not where you want to be, it's because of your relationships. Let's go. Hi, I'm Mindy. I'm the director of operations for Zen Coast Homes. Welcome to our new office. We are literally just moving in today, so you caught us at a good time. Um, welcome. What? We have three Ashley, so it's Ashley H, Ashley T, Ashley S. We have a lot of Ashleys. I like that. So yeah. if you want to get rich, you hire a bunch of Ashleys on your team. Because <laughs> Ashley rhymes with Cashley. <laughs> so this is Ashley. Hello. How many deals have you closed this month already? I know this August month, first. But... I got two offer accepted yesterday. What? Two one day. How many millions? How many millions? Yeah. You guys mess with the big price Priceless, point. You know? Yeah. What is it? Like three million? No. Two? One. Two, one point five. Total? Oh, total? No, yeah, what's one total? Point... Yeah, almost two. <laughs> yeah. That's 50 grand in commission, guys. Guess yeah. who's taking us out to a steak dinner? No. Hi, I'm Kay. I'm on the operations team. I'm the client care manager. I love it. Yeah. You see, guys, in real estate, you know, I'm 50 Hills. This is Zen Coast. But we don't have to compete like that. I think a lot of agents try to bump head and they try to fight. We don't need a fight, guys. Let's collaborate. Let's do deals together. I think 2021, we did two deals together. Mm -hmm. You know, like 2.5 or I already forgot how many millions that we did. It was very easy. It was fun. We closed yeah. the deals. We broke bread. We drank alcohol. We laughed. And we rubbed some money on ourselves like <laughs> this, you know? So for you agents out there, don't fight. Don't collaborate. We just switched up the scenery to Limon. We're gonna get more drinks. We ran into a boatload of realtors from Sequoia Real Estate, Kinetic Real Estate. We got Zen Coast in the house and 50 Hills, baby. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> that means yeah. <laughs> Three shots of tequila. The the reposado over there. Thank you, but on my tab. Thanks, brother. Hell yeah. Building relationships today, guys, with a real killer. I want her to introduce herself because this is gonna inspire a lot of you guys. Hi, I'm Samantha Kipania. I'm 23 years old with Zen Coast Homes and I closed 26 deals in my first 12 months in real estate. 26 deals in the first year. What did you do with all that money? I invested actually in uh, four rental properties. And I bought a few Chanel bags. But... If that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. 23, 26 deals, a couple investment properties, a Chanel bag, and a couple huh? shoes. Let's. Go. Let's bring it over here. Let's bring it over here. This is the number one notary in all of San Francisco. This is YouTube. Number two, baby. Let's go. Woo, we got it way to Mountain View. We're gonna be going to Walmart. And for all my Target lovers, I love Target too. It's cleaner, it's nicer, it's got better uh, vibes. But for school supplies, it is significantly cheaper at Walmart. So that's where we're headed. But I got Ray right here. And um, you know, by now you guys have seen the clips of the house that we looked at in Daly City. It is um, a mess. <laughs> and, but we're buying it. At least. Yeah, we're buying yeah. it. We're buying the damn property. But I want to talk about the plan, right, Ray? So what are we going to do with this property? We just bought Pittsburgh. Now we're buying one in Daly City. 
what is our plan with this one? This one's a really good deal, so um, it's it's hard to say we'll flip it. I think it's best as a as a hold play, like a, a burr strategy or you know a rental strategy where uh, we get you know constant income. We could refinance it all out, get all, all our, our money, money out. back out, yep. and you know still cash flow. You know, one of the things that I've been playing with the idea is that you know I I did Airbnb like maybe five six years ago. It was really lucrative. This one may or may not do very well, but we did have lunch with Jenny Locke and her team over there at Zenco's, and they were telling us like her property in South City, I think it's, it's August, right? She launched it, I think in February or March. She, yeah, she's already has $62,000 in bookings. Wow. I mean, that's wow. 62,000, even if you do five months, that's, yeah, that's, that's five grand a month that she's pulling in, and, and the year's not over yet. Yeah. So we may toy with the idea of doing Airbnb, yeah. Granted that it's much more hands-on, but I mean, honestly, we just we just have to plug in a VA, yeah. have them handle the bookings, get a good cleaners, which we have nearby. Like that's not a problem Let's for get us. Get it all automated. Yeah. yeah, we might go back to that. And I have furniture in my house that I could just plug in, nice furniture. So, so we got lots of options. We got a lot of options. It's a good deal. We've just got so many options we can play around with and test things out. Yeah, and so the thing is, is like why why we're leaning against flipping it. I mean, if we flip this property, it's a six figure profit, multiple six figure profit. However, if you flip a property that fast, you're gonna get hit with capital gains, and in California, you really get destroyed on your taxes. And so, and I think the other thing is, if you do a 1031 exchange, you have to hold the property for at least a year. So we want to at least get through that first year so that we can figure out if we want to flip it or um, you know I don't know the possibilities are really endless yeah, so absolutely. delay that gratification and we'll make it out just fine that's right if you don't know anything about my delayed gratification you guys got to check my Instagram bio I think I did a video on that let's go